Lanesboro is known as the bed and breakfast capital of Minnesota. It's where people come to find peace and quiet. But up on a hill in a tiny home overlooking the city... It was picked up as a souvenir. Captain Orville Ondahl is still struggling to find his. He was one of the first American troops to occupy Japan during World War II. When he came home, he was encouraged to take a war souvenir. Sharp. I wouldn't want to get too close to it. He climbed a pile of swords eight feet high for this one. For the last 68 years, he's cared for it, but always felt it wasn't his to keep. To this day, I... I admire that sword, but I feel that it should go home. That search started 10 years ago with a tag barely hanging by a string. On it was a name and an address that led him nowhere. My time is running out too, so... I am writing a, a book about this woman here. Karen Stelson was also looking for answers. She wanted to find Minnesota veterans who fought in the Pacific. Her search led her to Omdahl. They talked for hours, then his mystery became hers. I looked at that and I thought, I'm in a different story. The tags listed a family name from Nagasaki, Japan. Stelson happened to know people there because it's a sister city of St. Paul. This sword wants to go home. One phone call led them to Tadahiro Motomura, the son of the sword owner. The weapon his father once carried was now a symbol of peace. Amdahl spent most of his life wondering what he would say, what he would do if he ever met the owner. I'm Motomura Tadahiro. No more wondering Thank you. anymore. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I had to wait for this. Thank you. War can tear worlds apart, but humanity can repair it. I want to show you something. Ah, that's how two men came to find peace at last. I am very happy that this is going to the man that should have it.